Every single almond in your pantry traveled 5,000 miles through a production system so precise that a two-day timing error could destroy 4.2 billion worth of America's favorite nut. Right now, across California's Central Valley, 7,000 family farms are orchestrating one of agriculture's most demanding choreographies, where million-dollar machines shake 1.4 million trees with surgical precision, and 2 million honeybees work alongside farmers in a partnership that feeds 80% of the world's almond supply. But here's what most people never realize. Behind every perfectly roasted almond lies a three-year gamble against nature, where farmers invest 25,000 per acre before harvesting a single nut. What you're about to witness isn't just farming. It's a masterclass in patience, precision, and the kind of dedication that only comes from families who've worked this land for generations. Welcome to the hidden world where technology meets tradition and where the snack you casually enjoy represents one of American agriculture's greatest triumphs. That three-year gamble starts with a decision so precise that missing it by 48 hours can destroy a family's future mid-February while America sleeps. California's almond farmers are checking soil thermometers every four hours. They're hunting for one magic number, 60 degrees Fahrenheit at four inches deep. When that moment arrives, everything changes. You've got maybe 10 days to get thousands of seedlings in the ground says Tom Martinez, third-generation almond grower. Miss that window, and you're looking at 30% less yield three years from now. But here's what nobody tells you. Those precious seedlings farmers race to plant aren't actually almond trees. What goes into the ground would shock anyone who thinks they understand how their food is grown Farmers carefully plant each seedling, ensuring they have precisely 22 feet of space to grow and thrive. This spacing isn't arbitrary. It's calculated to maximize sunlight exposure, air circulation, and harvest efficiency. Here's where 20 years of experience becomes crucial. Experienced growers can read subtle soil variations that determine whether a tree thrives or merely survives. Protective covers are then placed over the seedlings, specialized shields that protect them from stem borers and limit excessive sunlight, giving these vulnerable young plants the best possible start. Yet even with all this preparation, the biggest challenge still lies ahead. Over the next two years, these seedlings transform into young almond trees. But this period represents something most consumers never consider. It's when farmers pour resources into trees that won't produce a single almond. During this time, farmers must provide unwavering care to ensure healthy growth. Almond trees are surprisingly water intensive, requiring regular irrigation in California's Mediterranean climate. Drip irrigation systems deliver water directly to the roots, a technology that conserves precious water while keeping trees optimally hydrated. People think we just turn on sprinklers, Tom shares, measuring soil moisture with a digital probe. But when you're managing 500 acres responsibly, every gallon counts. We monitor 14 different zones, adjusting water flow based on soil type, tree age, and weather forecasts. It's precision agriculture, and it's why California almonds use 33% less water than they did 20 years ago. As the trees mature, farmers become detectives, monitoring tree health and watching for signs of disease or pest infestation. The pressure of this vigilance weighs heavily, especially when you understand what comes next.
Pruning represents another essential chapter in almond tree care. Usually performed at winter's beginning, this isn't just cutting branches, it's sculpting the tree's future. Pruning helps shape trees, remove dead or diseased branches, and promote air circulation. But here's what makes this practice so critical. Proper pruning can increase yields by forward while reducing disease pressure by 60%. After 25 years, you learn to read each tree like a book, Tom explains, making precise cuts with practiced ease. Every cut affects how sunlight reaches the inner branches, how air flows through the canopy, how the tree will bear weight during harvest. You're not just pruning for this year, you're shaping production for the next decade. Comment one if you enjoyed the video. Comment zero if it wasn't your thing. By the third year, the almond trees finally begin to blossom, typically between February and March. This magical transformation turns orchards into seas of white and pink flowers. But these blossoms aren't just visually stunning. They represent a critical 22-day window that determines the entire year's harvest. During this blooming period, something extraordinary happens. Two million honeybees are brought into the orchards, the largest managed pollination event on Earth. This partnership between farmers and beekeepers is essential for almond production. The sight of bees buzzing diligently, pollinating each flower, demonstrates the remarkable harmony between agriculture and nature. Here's a controversial reality that sparks heated debate. Is trucking billions of bees across the country sustainable? While critics worry about bee stress, supporters point out that almond pollination provides 60% of commercial beekeepers' annual income, funding bee health research and colony expansion. Without these hardworking bees, almond production would simply not be possible. After pollination, flowers begin developing into almonds. Over the next five to six months, these almonds grow and mature on trees drawing nutrients from soil and water from irrigation systems. The almonds develop their characteristic hard shell, protecting the precious nut inside, the delicious snack we all love. This is when you don't sleep well, Tom admits, checking weather forecasts obsessively. One hailstorm, one heat wave over 108 degrees, one unexpected freeze, any of these that can destroy a year's work in minutes. We're not just growing crops, we're gambling against nature with everything on the line. When almonds are ready for harvest, typically from late summer to early fall, the orchards explode with activity. But timing this process perfectly requires something most people never consider. The moisture content must be exactly thin, too wet, and almonds will mold. Too dry and they'll shatter during processing. Specially designed shaker machines are brought in. Massive equipment worth $350,000 each, each, that grip trees and vibrate them at precisely calibrated frequencies. This causes almonds to fall like rain, carpeting the orchard floor. The process appears violent, but it's actually quite gentle, similar to harvesting olives or cherries, and carefully calibrated to avoid damaging the trees. The fallen almonds are then swept into perfectly straight rows, a process called windrowing. Here's where timing becomes absolutely critical. Almonds must dry on the orchard floor for exactly 7-10 days, depending on weather conditions. This traditional field drying reduces moisture content from 12% to the crucial sum ensuring proper preservation. If you found this video interesting, drop a one in the comments or a zero if you thought it was boring. Once harvested, almonds are transported to drying facilities. In some regions, particularly the Middle East, 
almonds still spread under the sun for about a week, a traditional method that naturally reduces moisture while preserving delicate flavors. But modern operations use sophisticated drying systems that monitor temperature and humidity continuously. After drying, almonds travel to processing facilities where they undergo multiple stages, cleaning, sorting, and shelling. Advanced optical sorters examine 40 almonds per second, rejecting any with imperfections. The outer shells are removed by specialized equipment, leaving edible almonds ready for further processing. Nothing goes to waste. Shells become livestock bedding and holes become dairy feed, creating a zero waste cycle. The almonds are then sorted based on 27 different quality parameters, ensuring only the finest make it to final packaging. This level of quality control might seem excessive until you realize that one contaminated batch could trigger recalls affecting millions of consumers. The final step in the almond journey involves packaging and distribution. At processing facilities, cleaned and sorted almonds are packaged in various forms, whole, sliced, diced, or ground, depending on consumer demand. Packaging happens in climate-controlled environments to maintain absolute freshness and prevent contamination. When you see that bag of almonds in the store, you're looking at three years of work, millions of gallons of water, countless hours of labor, and generations of knowledge, Tom reflects, watching trucks load for distribution. We're not just growing almonds. We're feeding families, supporting communities, and stewarding land that our grandchildren will inherit. Every almond represents our promise to deliver quality while protecting the earth for future generations. Once packaged, almonds are distributed to markets worldwide. They're loaded onto refrigerated trucks and shipped to various destinations ensuring consumers everywhere can enjoy fresh, high-quality almonds year-round. And there you have it, the complete journey of almonds from orchard to table. It's a process demanding extraordinary dedication, precision, and profound respect for nature. Behind every handful of almonds lies the passion of farming families who rise before dawn, who lose sleep over weather forecasts, who invest everything into trees that won't produce for three years. These aren't just farmers, they're environmental stewards, technology innovators, and guardians of a tradition that feeds the world. The next time you enjoy that nutritious handful of almonds, remember you're tasting the result of patience, expertise, and the unwavering commitment of American farmers who pour their hearts into every harvest. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Until next time, remember, every almond tells a story of dedication, and now you know that incredible story.